Hey everybody, welcome back to the Highland Fox. Today we're going to talk about Imola. Um, so I think what everyone's talking about, or am I going to dive right into the exciting part? Dive or? right into the exciting part. All right, so. Unlike the race. Overall, <laughs> I was very unimpressed. I don't know, I feel like I'm always not really impressed with Imola. I know well, it's such yeah. like a historic track, but I feel like there's never that much passing. It's funny because everyone hates Monaco because there's no passing. And Imola is like almost just as hard to pass. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I don't know why everyone's like, okay with Imola. I like Imola because it's Italy, it's the European circuit, but like, yeah. we're going to Monaco next week. So it's going to be two races in a row where like, no one's going to pass anybody. really happening. Uh, yeah. So I think like halfway through the race, I was like, okay, so I guess like a safety car or like a pit problem is going to be was... what causes excitement. Yeah. And we thought that was going to happen because they added a bunch of gravel traps and got rid of the runoff for, mm-hmm. to uh, stop track limits. Yeah. So, I mean, other than Perez having his problems of, you know, he sees a wall like a thousand feet away and he's like, yeah, that's the track limit. It's fine. <laughs> I I was not let down, but I was like, okay, like it's a, yeah, you know, whatever. And like, not everyone has to be a banger, but it was a little boring because even in the back of the pack, I felt like there wasn't much passing except for Ocon, like later on in the yeah. race, he passed at like a really weird point, but overall. Yeah. Hmm. And then whatever. our most recent winner, Lando Norris decided, let's make this interesting. Max was seven seconds up with, what was it? Like 20 laps to go. Yeah. And he just slowly creeped him in. And to the point where we had a last three laps, we had a race. Honestly, I want to say it was the last 11. Was it lap, lap 54? So it'd be nine. Nine. Yeah. Nine. Yeah. I can do math. Um, Public math. <laughs> lap 54, though, I was like, do we? Do we have a race here? And then I think that's when everyone was like, oh, whoa. This is the greatest right? Yeah. So I, I, I know Lando didn't win. So Max won by 0.7. I cannot remember the last time Max won, not under a safety car, by under a second. That's insane. So I think this shows us, the F1 community, that the upgrades are working. People are catching up. I think overall, yeah. the gap never got, I mean, seven seconds. That was it. Right. So usually... And even that, Leclerc finished third. Yes. And he finished seven seconds behind Verstappen. So one through three were seven seconds apart, which I know sounds like a lot, but compared to Max winning by 30 earlier in the year, yeah. we might have a championship on our hands. Mm-hmm. And I know Ferrari mentioned that their qual wasn't that best. So I think race pace, they're getting there. Yeah, they never lost a touch. But they just need to qual better now. Right. Um, it sounds looked really weird in his qual anyway, so meh. Yeah. But I, I think the top three, the podium, just showed the F1 community like, hey... It's closing, closing, closing up, up, closing the gap. I think we might have a few really good races coming yeah. up. Um, and I don't or, think... or is it just because Max was up until 4 a.m. doing his um, racing online? Yeah, he did a 24-hour sim race, which he won, um, and then did this race. So, again, F1 is almost a side mission for him. Yeah. But I think, to your point, I think that really shows like it's closing the gap. And when I said there could be a championship on the hands, like... Drivers is gone. Max is going to win drivers. Mm -hmm. But with Perez struggling a lot recently Mm -hmm. and Piastri and Norris finishing really high all the time and Leclerc and Sons finishing high all the time, you literally have Max versus teams. Yeah. So like Max has always been carrying Red Bull, but like if Perez also doesn't shoulder that like, hey, you need to be either finishing two through five, but like eighth. Like, Other teams not... are creeping up because what Charles is in second in the um, yeah. in the standings, yep. and there's a few other people that are creeping up there, yeah. and it's not Perez. So I definitely think there is a possibility of a constructors. Constructors, yeah. yeah. Max will probably win. Just saying, but maybe a Ferrari, McLaren. Ferrari's fifty six points, fifty four points behind. I think they're fifty six or fifty four points behind Red Bull, and uh, McLaren's fifty eight points behind Ferrari. So we still, that's only the seventh race of 24 yeah. races. Yeah. Like so we have a long time. We have a long season. Oh, I think, I don't know. I'm really excited. I, it's weird. It was a boring race, but the ending gave me excitement for the season, mm-hmm. which I think is cool because we haven't had that since like 21. Yeah. And the last time we had three different winners in the first seven races, 21, oh. when it went down to the last lap. So. Oh my, I could do, like, my heart could do without that ever again in my <laughs> life, but... Yeah, so who knows? There could be, this could be some hopium, copium going mm-hmm. on right now, hoping for a season. Yeah, we'll see. But 
Mm-hmm. It looks like there could be a season on our hands, which is exciting. Yeah, and it, and at least not a repeat of last year. Like even if Max wins every race, I guess. Yeah. I just want like a competitive streak for the other teams. Give them a fighting chance. Right. Yeah. You know, make Max or, work a little. Yeah, bit. or that possibility of like the constructors yeah. being a bit of a competition again. Yeah. Um. So I I really think the upgrades are proving themselves. Mm-hmm. Lando raced phenomenal. Phenomenal. So I, I think even Max didn't seem that comfortable in the car. I think he had a good race too, mm-hmm. being as tired as he was and him feeling off. I think he still raced really yeah. well. And I, I think this is my favorite podium is Leclerc, Norris, and Verstappen because they all get along really well. Yeah. And like the cool down room is just really funny with those three. Like mm-hmm. on the podium, they look like they're having fun yeah. together. So like any combination of those three on the podium, like any order, I think mm-hmm. I'd be fine with. It, it seems like a fun podium. Yeah, yeah. But it's cool to see different teams now. I agree, yeah. yeah. It's not just Red I'm Bull here hunters. for it. I'm yeah. here for it. I like it. So maybe like Alpine next week. Oh, honey. Sweet summer child. Sweet summer child. Maybe not that. But yeah, so that's a lot of the big stuff from Imola. Um, the last thing we wanted to touch on uh, is this is the 30th anniversary of Senna passing away at Imola. Um, Vettel did a really cool thing where he drove Senna's in, dressed in the full Senna kit and drove Senna's uh, McLaren around the track. As in honor of him, all the drivers were there. Mm-hmm. It was really cool to see. Um, as you know, Senna was a great driver for those of you guys that don't know. Lost, obviously, too young anytime you die in an accident. And then, um, but it really brought about a lot of that safety that we see today, mm-hmm. kind of like the Jules Bianchi in Japan, really brought the halo. And so, you know, at least there's something good that could come of something so tragic. Um, but it was nice to see Vettel back and mm-hmm. all the drivers corral around that. Yeah, a tribute to one of the greats. Mm-hmm. So. so on that note, we're going to leave you guys till next weekend, where it's one of my favorite races. I know it's nobody else's, <laughs> but Monaco. I mean, it's Charles' favorite race. Just, all I want is a podium. The man has to get a podium in his home race. Just finish. The, it's the curse of the home it's race. It's the curse we'll of the home race. But, yeah, we'll see. It's a classic track. The drivers love it. It's really technical. It's really hard on it's them. It's supposed to rain during qual. And it's supposed to rain. I know it's rain. a week away, so who knows with weather patterns. But as yeah. of right now, there's rain. So... Hopefully next week we have a little more exciting things to talk about. But overall, we might have a championship on our hands. So that's good news. See you guys.